So I'm looking for the ear rows, uh, I'm looking for at least 25 kernels um, to move forward with because it takes about 25 kernels to plant this out next year. So anything that doesn't have 25 kernels like this had a little bit poorer seed set. This is a female too, female row, based upon the genetics. And so anything that's not gonna set good grain, I don't wanna keep. So for example, this one feels like a good ear. That's one I, I really like. Kernel uh, texture may be a little too hard, but it's got a nice white kernel. This thing is still segregating too, so we might be able to pull out some, um, some softer kernels later on in the years later. So just moving through here. This has a little bit better stay green. Has a red cob too, and a little higher ear placement. So you can see the difference between the two, even just on the plants. Again, this has some good health, maybe some good stay green with it, whereas this one doesn't as much. Has a lower ear placement, but that's the, that's the thing we gotta do when we're out here is uh, finding that one or two that has both of those together. Good stay green, uh, like in this plant, and lower ear placement like in this plant with a white cob. So if we can find that one that has both of those, that's the money maker. Hard kernel. Poor seed set. Here's where you can see there's aborted kernels. Uh, so these actually pollinated back whenever this pollination was made and these aborted back. The plant didn't either have enough water, enough nutrients to keep moving forward. So it's uh, pulling back the nutrients and only filling the kernels that it can. And that's one thing that we like to stay away from because nobody wants to see that in their cornfield. So here's a good example of one. It's actually a pink cob. Um, it's got low ear placement. Uh, it's a little bit shorter of a plant, but it's got really good stay green. So actually I think this one might be my number one selection uh, in this row thus far. Mm -hmm.